Hey, a pleasure good day, everybody. This is going to be a quick video on the Ducks draft. Please you need to subscribe down below and keep the channel growing to the next goal of 300 or more. I actually really like their draft. They picked two really big defensemen in the first two rounds, and Pavel Mitukov, who had speed and skill, and he's 6'2 already. I think 195 is his size. And Nolan Warren in the second round, who is absolutely massive. Um, <clears throat> Warren is 6'4". And I'm waiting for it to come back up again. 224. That's like football size. I honestly think this guy has a chance to be a steal. He played for Gadno in the QMJHL. He has size to be a shutdown defenseman. That's a guy that you were able to get in the second round. That also put up a plus 17. He was able to put up 24 points. So he has a good passing ability um, as well. Um, on top of that, he's a native of Montreal. Um... And uh, Warren's grandfather, actually, according to NHL.com, was Raynan Bolton, uh, Waynall Bolton, excuse me, who was a goaltender for the Philadelphia Flyers that was drafted in 1972. So, and then his mother was a nationally ranked Canadian swimmer. So, the athletics grows in the family, so to speak, for Nolan Warren, the 42nd overall pick by the Anaheim Ducks. I think this guy does have a chance, in my opinion, to be that second line right shot defenseman that's just pounding guys like Jacob Truba and passing it up good on the outlet, not going to overcomplicate things, not going to wow you in the offensive zone, but just play a good defensive game. I think he's a perfect second round pick. And then back to their first round pick, we also, I know, skipped over one guy. I just wanted to talk about the two key defensemen they picked first. But they also picked a very good defenseman with the 53rd pick in Tristan Lunau. Uh, as well, who was projected in a bunch of different spots of the draft. So maybe we'll actually talk about him next, and then we'll get to the bread and butter, Pavel Mitukov. Because Tristan, who now another guy from the QMJHL, they really picked from that QMJHL in defenseman. He's a guy that's 6'2", less size, though, in terms of bulkiness to him. He's a quicker skater, uh, and he's a guy that definitely over time seems like he's going to be able to put up points for you and be a good offensive defenseman. We'll have to see how he develops at the NHL level as a two-way defenseman, but I definitely think he's a guy that's going to be a good scoring defenseman. And when you look at the second round, if you got a good scoring defenseman that's an okay defender in Tristan Lunau and a very good shutdown defenseman in Noah and Warren, well, you're bread and butter. That's freaking meat and potatoes right there. That's an A for the second round by the Anaheim Ducks, and that's just the second round. And their first round, I like Pavel Mitukov. Uh, they keep drafting hard to pronounce names, but they picked from the QMJHL in the second round with Leno and Warren. They're going to pick – their next pick is going to be from the Q again, so they really like the Q, and so do I, so I really do like them picking from that. Uh, they picked from Saginaw in the OHL, Pavel um, Mitukov, who is one of the best-ranked defensemen in this draft. He's a quick puck-moving defenseman. He's a guy that seems like he's going to be good in both zones. He's a 194-6'2", so everybody they picked is over the six-foot uh, range. Uh, and he's a guy that is already immensely great in scoring. I believe he had over 60 points last year. Um, and he was uh, – here's the Ducks general manager, Pat Veerbeek's quote. I'm trying to find that. The talent is undeniable. We're looking for the best hockey players. We're looking to get our franchise going in the right direction towards winning Stanley Cups, and we think this player is going to really help us there. Uh, he obviously helped Russia to gold medal in the 2019 Under-17 Challenge, and he's a native of Moscow, but he came over here to um, at the right time. I don't even think he knew. I think it was before all this crap hit the fan, but it, lucky for him that he was over here. And he's going to be able to play for the Ducks as soon as possible. And I could see him even playing as soon as next year. He's that good. But we're going to have to see. Uh, Pavel Mityukov definitely was a good pick. They got three pretty damn good defensemen uh, that could have went earlier. And Noah Warren and Tristan Leno. And then they got Pavel Mityukov. And then smack in the middle is a guy that I honestly like as a bigger skater. 6'3", 207 more than I like Connor Geeky. And I do like Connor Geeky. But I like Nathan Gocher more because he already has what Geeky doesn't, which is his skating still needs to develop more, but he has the strides better, I think, at this point, if you watch Gocher and watch Geeky together. Uh, he's a guy like Geeky, who's highly competitive, good along the boards, a good guy that's going to be able to play center or wing. I think Gocher has a better staying power as center uh, than Geeky will, 
but he's a guy that I think is going to produce potentially more points than Geeky too because he has that better stride skating in terms of making up ground. Connor Geeky doesn't make up a lot of ground yet, and Goch is already there at being better at that, so I think he's going to even improve upon that. And therefore, I like his ceiling better than Connor Geeky's. So I have to give their first and second round an A um, for the Anaheim Ducks uh, when it comes to that. And then at that point, um, outside of that, uh, Ben King is an overager who had good size. He scored a bunch of the WHL, so we'll have to see what the heck he's able to do. And then um, Boyd Yetz and Callo, um, they have a longer developing track, but Boyd Yetz seems like a very solid young Russian goaltender. He already played good in the M and VHL in a handful of games. So definitely a good solid pick. I would have to give the Ducks draft an A. This has been a quick reaction to the Anaheim Ducks draft. I really like it. Meet your cough and go to your first round. Warren and Leno, great in second round. Ben King has good size and scoring potential ability as an overager. I have to see what he becomes. Um, Connor Hidvinston, I don't really know anything. Uh, Michael Callow, going to take a while to develop. And Boyd Yetz from continuing to be a guy that loves reading about goaltenders like it's a religion. He seems like a guy... Kind of like the Flyers picked that Kozlov guy in the third round, but Kozlov seems to have a better ceiling. Boyd yet seems to be a guy that's developing already good at such a young age that his ceiling is at least going to be a solid North American goaltender. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please subscribe down below. Or above an easy huge widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 300 or more, which is our next goal. Hopefully we can get to 500 or more soon enough.